Hello everyone. Welcome to new video off Whiteout Survival. Today I have come with a new guide video for you. Time to rally your state to victory. Because the topic is state of power. What is state of power? It is the event which is popularly known as state versus state or SVS. In this event, two states fight each other to capture Sunfire Castle. Winning team gets control of Sunfire Castle for next two weeks. Moreover, in this event, players of one state can attack players of opponent state. You may fight with players of your own state, but during this event, a brotherhood is created in your state chiefs. That means your state players should be ally with each other to fight against opponent state. I will give detailed information on state of power. Let's jump in our video. State of Power Event is one week long event. This event has three parts, matchmaking phase, preparation phase, battle phase. Matchmaking phase starts on Saturday. You don't need to do anything in this phase. Game itself will find opponent state for your state. There is a myth for this matchmaking. The myth is, if you reduce your state power, you will get less strong opponent server. How to reduce state power? If you unequip your hero gear and Remove hero from drill camp. Your power will be reduced. If all players of top 20 alliance in your server do this, your state power will be reduced. But it will not work. By doing this, you will not get low power state in opponent. There is no relation between state power and matchmaking. This myth is false. Let's get back to main topic. After matchmaking ends, your state will get opponent state. Now, Preparation phase will start. Preparation phase has 5 days, each day has different missions. I will discuss them one by one. Starting our preparation with day 1. City construction. Every day, you will get to milestone of chest. One is personal points, another is alliance points. You can get total 6 chests each day. Here, you can see points of your state and opponent's state. First one is, current day points, second is total points. To win preparation phase, you have to beat your opponent's state in total points. What will happen if your state win preparation phase? I am coming to that point soon. Let's check the task of day 1. Tasks are, increase chief charm, use fire crystal to upgrade building, use construction speed up, training speed up, research speed up. If you are a free to play player, you have to focus on fire crystal and speed up task. There is also reward for leaderboard ranking. For each day ranking and total ranking. If you are a free to play player. And if you have saved items to use in SBS preparation phase, you have chance to come in leaderboard. But it is hard to come in battle phase leaderboard. As free to play. You will get a special skin from leaderboard. I will show it soon. Now let's complete the tasks. Each day, you will get metal from milestone chests. Use those metals to get more rewards. In my fire crystal guide video, I told SBS is a good way to get fire crystal. Each season has a special hero. You will get this hero shard if you come top in leaderboard. For this season, Amos is the hero. I told you to complete this day using speed up because you have to save chief charm for other day if you are not in Fire Crystal Age, it will not be possible for you to use Fire Crystal Task. Okay, I am using Speed Up. See, I have unlocked one milestone chest. Let's do more tasks. In my Fire Crystal Guide video, I told how to use Fire Crystal. If you have not watched it, check it. Link given in pinned comment. Now I am going to use Fire Crystal Task. These upgrades take a lot of time. Don't forget to use Double Time in Chief House. If you have pets, use Builder's Aid Skill of Pet. I have used Fire Crystal to upgrade my furnace. See, all chests are unlocked. Fire Crystal Task gives a huge amount of score. If you are planning to use Chief Char, check the list how much score you can make. 
but I suggest you to avoid this. In this video, I am upgrading Chief's charm, because I am trying for leaderboard. If you are free to play player, you should not go for Chief charm. I am also free to play, but I saved my charm upgrade material from long time to use them during SBS. Now let's open all these chests one by one. You will get Sunfire token in chest. I have already told use of Sunfire token in my Fire Crystal video. I am getting Fire Crystal using Sunfire token because I need them in upcoming days. This is how you have to complete day 1. We are not done yet. On day 2, we have gathering tasks. Before day 1 ends, send your troops to gather food, wood, coal, iron. Try to get level 8 gathering farm. When day 2 will start, your troops will return from gathering. You will get huge points. Let's check next day. Coming to day 2. Basic skills up. Just like previous day, you have to unlock 6 milestone chests. Tasks are. Use fire crystal to upgrade building. Use speed up. Play lucky wheel. Use shards. Gather resources. I told before day 1 ends, send your troops to gathering. As soon as they return on day 2, send them to gathering again. Today you can focus on fire crystal task, lucky wheel, and shards. On day 2, you can avoid speed up tasks. You have to play lucky wheel. By any means, if you play lucky wheel, you can automatically go for shards tasks, because you can get shards in lucky wheel. Let's send my troops to gathering. Before sending your troops to gathering, activate the gathering speed up boost from city bonus. You will get a boost from day one milestone chest. If you have pet, activate burden bearer skill. I have sent my all queue for gathering. This task is best for free to play players. Use the burden bearer when you are going for level 8 gathering. Now I will play lucky wheel for completing the task. Every day, you will get a lucky chip for free. In this season, Lin has come to lucky wheel. If you can get enough shards in lucky wheel, upgrade the hero to complete shard task. I will not discuss lucky wheel. I have already made a detailed guide on Lucky Wheel. If you have not watched it, check it. Link given in pinned comment. This is how you can complete Lucky Wheel task. I have got Lin shards, so I will upgrade Lin. I have used shards tasks, one chest is left, so I will use speed up task. Using training speed up is more useful than using construction speed up. See, I have unlocked all chests, let's open them one by one. See, I have got medals, I can use medals for more reward. This is how you can complete day 2. Coming to day 3, Dees Slay. This day is best for free to play players, because tasks are related to pet. If you see any task related to pet, do it fast, because they are all for free to play. Tasks are, pet advancement, use common wild mark, use advanced wild mark, Upgrade Chief Charm, play Lucky Wheel, use Shards. Attack Polar Terror and Beasts. Remember, you have to start Rally to defeat Polar Terror. If you join Rally of other player, you will not get point. On this day, focus on pets, 
Lucky Wheel Ant, Polar Terror and Beast. If you are free to play player, you should not do more than 40 spins each day. The higher level beast you attack, the more points you get, but you will get same points for attacking a high level ant. Low level Polar Terror. In this chart, you can see what point you can get from pet advancement. Use your common ant, advanced wild mark only during big events. SVS is one of the big events. Okay, I am going to upgrade Arctic Wolf. I need taming manual ant, energizing potion. See? My point has increased for using pet advancement. Let's do more pet advancement. I have unlocked two chests. All chests are unlocked. You can complete the day using pet advancement, but if you want more score, you can go for Polar Terror and Beast. I am using Wild Mark. If you want to stay in leaderboard, you should play Lucky Wheel. I already told Lucky Wheel is related to shards. If you get shards in Lucky Wheel, you can use it for shards task. But I will save my shard here. And I am going for Polar Terror and Beast. Turn on your Auto Joey Rally to help your Alliance members. Let's open all the chests one by one. Don't forget to use your metal each day. On day 3 of SVS, you get the event Defeat Nearby Beasts. If you rally Polar Terror and Defeat Beast, you can complete this event at same time. Our day 3 is complete. But we are not done yet. On day 4, we have training task. I suggest you to start training troops before day 4 starts so you can get huge points from troops training in day 4. Let's check our next day. Here comes our day 4. Hero development. Tasks are. Increase chief charm. Use hero gear essence stone. Use widget of hero exclusive gear. Train troops. If you are free to play player, you should focus on troops training. If you have hero gear essence stone and widget of hero exclusive gear, go for it. In this video, I will not discuss how to use Hero Gear Ass and Stone, and how to use Widget of Hero Exclusive Gear. I have already made guide on Hero Gear Ass and Stone and Widget of Hero Exclusive Gear. If you have not watched it, check it. Link given in pinned comment. If you have started training troops on day 3, you can get trained troops in day 4. It can save time and you can make high score. Let's get all the troops. See? I have unlocked a chest by troops training. You can complete the day using troops training. But if you want leaderboard ranking, do chief charm. My all chests are unlocked. Let's open them and get rewards. Hero Gear Ass and Stone and Widget of Hero Exclusive Gear. Tasks are optional. You can do it if you are going for leaderboard. 
Each day you will get reward of previous day letterboard ranking. See, I have got reward here. Day 3 is the best day for free to play players. For leaderboard ranking, this is how you can complete day 4. Let's check next day. Here comes our day 5, Tower Boost. Again this day is for free to play players. Because we have pet related tasks. Tasks are, use pet advancement, use common wild mark, use advanced wild mark, increase chief gear, use hero gear ass and stone, use widget of hero exclusive gear, use fire crystal to upgrade building, use speed up. If you are free to play, you can complete this day using pet tasks, since you are getting hero gear task. For first time in this event on day 5, you can go for it. I suggest to do pet tasks, hero gear tasks, and speed up task. If you are free to play, If you are going for leaderboard, do fire crystal task. Time to build, baby. Upgrade your Zinman skills to reduce upgrade mm. time and cost. See, I have unlocked all chests. Let's open them one by one. In starting a video, I told, you have to win preparation phase. You have to understand how battle will be fought. There is a Sunfire Castle on the middle of map in every state. During normal castle battle, players of same server fight for Sunfire Castle. But during SBS, both states players fight for one of Sunfire Castle of two states, for which state Sunfire Castle battle will be fought. It is decided by preparation phase. Loser state of preparation phase will defend Sunfire Castle against the winner state of preparation phase. It means loser state Sunfire Castle will be the home ground of loser state. Winner of preparation phase state players will teleport to loser state Sunfire Castle. Now there are some situations which will decide the outcome of SBS. If any state is defeated in preparation phase and wins in battle phase, that stay will remain safe, in this case, none will occupy any place and there will be no supreme president. But if any state is defeated in both preparation phase and battle phase, that state will be occupied by winner state. Anyone from winner state will be the supreme president. Supreme president can rule both state for next two weeks. If any state wins the preparation phase, that state will get infirmary and enlistment office bonus. This is how preparation phase completes. Now we are entering battle phase. Battle phase starts on 10 UTC on the next day. After preparation phase. But the Sunfire Castle battle starts on 12 UTC on the battle day. So there is a gap of 2 hours between battle phase starting and Sunfire Castle battle. If you want to save your troops, use protection for 2 hours in this time. Generally players of one state. Teleport to other state in this two hours to hit opponent state players. So you should save your troops. If you want to give good fight in castle battle, if a high level fire crystal player teleports inside your alliance area, it will be like wolf inside herd of sheep. But if you want to hit other state players, go for it. See, a player of fire crystal 5 has teleported inside us. So we have turned on protection. Keep in mind, Opponent state players can come in any place in your state. Normally you cannot teleport inside other alliance banner area, but it does not work in SVS. Anyone can teleport to anywhere he wish. Here, you can check how many troops you have lost. Here, you can get three free teleporter to teleport to opponent state. Here, you can see, just like preparation phase, Battle phase also has 6 milestone chests. You have to unlock the chests by injuring opponent troops. 
I am not showing battle phase and sunfire castle battle. In this video, battle phase lasts 12 hours. Sunfire Castle Battle ends at 20 UTC on Battle Phase. The Battle Phase ends at 20 UTC on that day. It means there is another 2 hours gap. If you want to teleport to other state, to hit players in these 2 hours, you can go. But it will be better to open protection for 2 hours. Because it is not easy to hit players. After 8 hours long Sunfire Castle Battle. If you want to check details on Fight of Battle Phase, you can watch my live stream on SBS. Link given in pinned comment. Here are the rewards of SBS. SBS event is full of rewards. Unfortunately, we were defeated in this SBS. You can see the personal and alliance points and ranking. We were defeated in both preparation phase and battle phase. In the blink so of our eye, state is occupied by opponent's state. Sealed. Opponent's state has appointed Supreme President. I will discuss someday in future about Supreme President. After SBS ends, Field Triage starts. I have made a video on Field Triage, if you have not watched it. Check it. Link given in pinned comment. During SBS, you can hit your own state players, but your state is your motherland. It is your duty to save your state from opponent. So forget all internal conflict during SBS. Establish a brotherhood and achieve victory. If any alliance of your state is getting hit by opponent's state, quickly go for that alliance aid. Forget conflict between alliances. Now, there are some things which you need to keep in mind. City bonus works during SBS, but facility bonus does not work. If your state is capturing Sunfire Castle and your opponent's state is capturing Torrent, that Torrent will hit Castle. But if one alliance of your state is capturing Sunfire Castle and another alliance of your state is capturing Torrent, that Torrent will not hit Castle. If one alliance of your state is capturing Castle or Torrent, Another alliance of your state can throw friendly fire with rally. But this situation should be avoided as much as possible. This is how you can complete preparation phase and battle phase. If you come in top of leaderboard in state of power, you will get this city skin, Kilios Outpost. Don't forget to watch Guide on Fire Crystal, Hero Gear Ass and Stone. Hero Exclusive Gear, Field Triage, Pet SDS Battle. That is all for this video. To watch more, subscribe.